Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today we are in Zanti Town. So sit back and relax as we take you around the top five places to visit in the town. So we've just taken a little detour, uh, we're, we're in the port now, we've come into the port via the town because we've seen this Viking ship and somebody we met in Kalamaki called Percy Hill mentioned this place the other day and said to come and have a look at it because it looks like a wooden Viking ship but in fact it's actually all been painted onto the boat so it actually looks really good from afar because it looks genuinely like wood so it's um it's pretty good so we're just in the port so this is where um the ferries leave this one's going to catalonia so we've got catalonia on the mainland from here and then there's a lot of boat trips just over the way there which leave and go around the blue caves and the shipwreck beach so you've got all the port here and then it's a nice walk along the waterfront there <laughs> Just across from the port, where I've seen that big Venetian building, this is the church of Agios Dionysus. So Agios Dionysus was the guy who actually wrote the Greek national anthem, which was written on this island. That's one of the places we're going to take it to. But we're going to have a quick look inside here and show you what it's like. Oh, is it not? Okay, we'll go and we'll go inside and have a look <laughs> and not show you around, seeing as you're not allowed. Church of Agios Dionysos. So that's the first place we've put us top in the top five. So again, that's just opposite the, the port here where the ferry is. And it's next to the big Venetian building. So go and have a look inside. There's huge, huge roof with um, there's all sorts of paintings, massive chandeliers. It's it's really impressive inside. So it's worth having a look. Just being mobbed off a little dog there. Really excited. There he is walking across the road. <laughs> so the 
first port of call is Dionysus Solomos Square. So this is located on the coastal road, which is known as Santa Marina. Um, so basically this leads straight to the square, and this is the biggest square on the island. One of the most popular attractions on the square here is the statue of Dionysus Solomos. This guy is the Greek national poet, and this was who we mentioned before. So the statue is based right in front of the Byzantium Museum, which is just behind me here. see behind here it's where the uh, fun train starts so it starts from here and I think goes all the way through the Laganas but give you like a city tour as well so that's it's quite good I've just heard it on the way past there before and it gives out information about all the buildings and stuff so it's worth a look if you want to get a bit more information go and, go and have a look on the fun train so we're just walking to the next place on the list which is called St. Marcos Square. St. Uh, Marcos St. Square. Square. We couldn't find it on the map. <laughs> it's come up with San Marco. So we're just going to walk through there now. Just out of uh, Dionysus Solomos Square. It's only about a three minute walk so let's get going through. So it's quite nice up here. You've got little tavernas, places to sit, cafes. Places to eat, that looks nice, our food over there. Hello. 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 No, thank you. No, Maybe later. You're very welcome. Thank you. Keep go where the people are. Yeah, yeah. Drink, snack, and No problem. Thank you. So this is actually the main little part of the town, I think, in terms of cafes and bars and restaurants. Shops, nice church there. And these little streets off. Seem to get a bit more hassle here from uh, people trying to get you into their places. Not that it's too bad. like some quite trendy places bars and restaurants quite cosmopolitan if you like <laughs> I like the pink panthers there's the Caretta Caretta turtles so this I believe is St. Marco's Square so here a bit smaller than the last one During the 18th century, it was the centre of social and political debate among the prominent figures of the island. The Museum of Dionysus Solmos, Andreas Calvos and other eminent personalities of Zakynthos is housed in a neoclassical building at the Square of St. Marcus. There's portraits of prominent figures of Zakynthos, personal items of Dionysus Solmos displayed here. Stop for a drink. Soft drink, yes. Not drink driving on the bikes. Might have one up at our last place, but I'll not tell you where we're going yet. Hi. Uh, 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 just, just a drink. Please. What would you like? <laughs> 
Nada más. So one of the delights of places like this are two Fantas, four euro. Hell's teeth. <laughs> it's more than we've been paying for beer. Aye, make sure you take your time with this. I to cycle up a huge hill there. Sweating and it's red hot. Woo. That was a hell of a climb on the bike. Absolutely dripping. Sweat. Really steep hill up from Zanty Town, but we're here. So this is Strani's Hill. So we'll show you around up here. So it was here Dionysus Solomos was inspired to write the national anthem, which is called No to Freedom. So on the column, it has the bust of the port on the top. Yeah, there was once a yew tree, and this would have been the exact spot where the national anthem was written. So on the front of the column, there's also a sculpture that represents freedom. It's a figure that appears to be moving forward and holds in his right hand a sword. You will see in the entrance to the Museum of Solomos Calvos, part of the trunk of the yew tree, that Dionysus Solomon sat under. So, what does that say? Magic of nature in a dream in beauty. And Harry the black, Harry? The black stone gold in the dry. Grass with a thousand taps is purchased with a thousand tongues. He keeps away friends. Time for more of Jackie's poetry. Inspired here, when Solomus wrote the hymn in freedom, and somebody's name, Ton Mahon, 1823. And then this one, I love Jackie's poetry corner, might have to make this a feature. <laughs> <laughs> like that, press is happy. Is that it? Is it? <laughs> and then his name. Forever and ever, amen. See Solomus. This one say. Lansing has a, a whole flame. Lip front, eye lit, hand light foot, and everything around you is light. This. Words of wisdom, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> you said you can't have fun cycling up hills. So that's Strani's Hill. So we're going to move on to our last and top of the list place to visit in and around Zanty Town. So we're going to crack on and get ourselves there, get some food and a drink, maybe. Uh, I think yeah, we deserved it after deserved that, that claim. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I'll never see another hill again, it'll be too soon. Oh. <sighs> yeah, oh, dripping a sweat cycling up that hill. I just get steeper and steeper. I thought we're done with hills after Strani's bloody hill. 
never mind what we've, got, we've got here. So, top of the list is Bashali. So, right at the back of Zanti Town. Strani's is just a little bit further away from here. It's not too much. I don't know, maybe it's a kilometre and a half, two kilometres. Um, so, Bashali, it's got a fortress and castle here. So, we're going to have a look here first. And then we're going to have a look down in the little village and probably stop for a drink and something to eat and we'll, we'll show you the views from there as well because they're, they're pretty spectacular just looking over Zanti town so we're going to go and have a look in here and then get a well and <laughs> sweat going in here a well and drink and some food ah bollocks all that way for nothing it's 10 past 3 they closed at 3 oh Don't believe it. <laughs> right. Well, I'm just gonna have to um, go down and get something to eat and just enjoy the views, I suppose. All those efforts for nothing. <laughs> These things happen, I suppose. But uh, it's one of the things I wanted to show you, but I can't go in. Never mind. Right. Let's go down here. So this is Bachali, which is right at the top of the hill overlooking. Zanti town there, pretty spectacular views behind, you can even see all the way over to Kalamaki where we're staying, over in that corner there, but uh, yeah, really good views of the of the town, so I recommend coming here if you get the chance, what do you think? Oh uh, yeah. So it looks like the fun train comes up here too, just ignore Jackie's expletives. <laughs> So it's just a tiny little village, a few little shops and places to get a drink. Little restaurant up there. There's a place here. Looks like you can sit and enjoy the views. And a lovely little church there. And there's another cafe there which does traditional cuisine. So we'll go and find somewhere to sit and uh, get something to eat and a drink and enjoy these views. Time for a little bit of Jackie's expertise with a nice dessert. <laughs> what is it? It's not Zakapani, Jackie, that's a place in Poland. It's chocolate. Chocolate mousse. Mousse with orange and orange. Oh, it's just like a chocolate orange. Is it? Oh, my word. Oh, that looks, so looks good. Nice. Torta Bianca, so cream, banana, and some caramel. It's a bit of business, like a banoffee pie basically. There's some caramel on the top there. There's some cream. Creamy, as you'd expect. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Good. Oh, yeah. Combine the three together the caramel, banana, and Whatever else is in there, banana. What's that banana? banana. <laughs> Extra banana. Mm. Oh, it's lush. Lush. Um, Jack is trying mine. I don't normally like these mine, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. 
I like it. And that's the main thing. It is very banana. Wow. It seems nice. Yeah. Oh baby, I love your madness It's so incredibly beautiful oh, You shine like gold So selfless to all And wild like an animal oh, Some would say I'm insane in the right and away But I just love to play in your fun and your enjoyed the top five things to do in Zander Town. It's been a canny little day for us on the bikes apart from the, the hills, the hills but good. it was worth it for the views. The views are tremendous up here um, and that dessert was lush oh, that was and just topped it off nicely at the end. So we'll finish this one off with a nice sugar rush um, as we're about to head back down the hill. Thankfully everything's downhill from here on in, probably in more ways than one. <laughs> but anyway, We'll see you soon, um, so if you can just drop us a subscribe, a like, and feel free to share any comments. We'll see you soon. Bye. Today we're going to look at getting some transportation. Go around the island. <laughs> so just like in Poland, we've got a little Hyundai. And this is where we got married back in 2015. So next stop is Zygia Beach. Life is so easy.